Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> Snowing in northern Indiana, um, which is pretty. It makes it, uh, it's not really that cold. It's like in the 30s, I think, like 30 degrees ish or whatever, but it's definitely not cold. It feels good even though we have winter coats on. But anyway, so last week, funny story, funny story. Last week, we uh, got back into full swing with our kids' activities. So Carter with futsal, traveling to Fort Wayne twice in two days and then back to Mishawaka for his indoor soccer. And then Morgan had two pen competition dance routines that she did, one on Friday night, which you all, well, you kind of saw, that, that you saw the intro and then, <laughs> then walking back out. Um, and then she had another one on Saturday. And so on part of the video, we sat in the car just before Carter's soccer game and, and talked about how the pace of life had picked back up and we it's weren't sure we liked it <laughs> yeah not i mean actually just yeah we weren't really sure if we liked it or not i mean it's good that the kids are getting socialization and their activities are back up and it's fun watching them but we the, the pace for that weekend was just like non-stop i think we both got four hours of sleep each night that weekend and so we were just kind of talking about how it like the pace dropped straight back into our lap at full speed non-stop and we were just talking about how we didn't really like that at this point because we gotten used to the slow pace which has been nice i think we're meant to be southerners <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> anyway so but funny story um when we talked about that the very next week we found out that we had to slow down again. <laughs> not on our choice. Not, not by our choice. The 2020 bug reached out its tentacles and, and, snatched, us. and snatched us. Snatched us from our activities again. <laughs> And it's funny, like we're doing, we're doing fine. We're doing, we have like a cough and we feel, we feel tired. And the, the fogginess, the brain fogginess is, is, real. is super <laughs> real. I was like, when I heard people talk about that, I was like, nah, you guys are just faking it. You guys are dramatic, making it up, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's real, dude. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for, we have a few more days left. It's been how many days? Uh, seven days tomorrow seven days tomorrow so we have a few more days left of this lockdown where we have to isolate so our kids did not get the 2020 bug which is interesting so they are being isolated in the house in their rooms and then they get their own individual room in our house and they're not by us whatsoever and so we divided up the house yeah um, so morgan gets our front living room slash dining room in her room and they have their own bathrooms. Um, so that's her space. We don't go in it. Um, Carter gets his room, his own bathroom, and then the basement finished area is his space. And then we have our room, our bathroom, and then we took the TV room. Um, and so the kitchen's the only room that we all have to use. So if you go into the kitchen, you need to text somebody and let them know you're coming first to make sure you're not in there with anybody else. And you gotta wear your mask. Even though we're not a big fan of the mask, to be honest with you, <laughs> I mean, you know what I feel about that, kind of. Um, but the funny thing is, and the reason I say that, can you take this dog real quick? <laughs> I gotta switch. I'm 44, my shoulder hurts. The reason we say that is because early in 2020, we went to Florida, and then we went to Charleston, South Carolina, in July. In July. Oh, yeah. And then we, Christmas and Thanksgiving and different we, things. We and do all the things. We do all the things and we don't get it at all from that. From that. <laughs> but in a work environment where they take it very serious and they make you mask up when you're in meetings. And social distance. And social distance. I got it there. Jamie got it. While wearing a mask, social distancing. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. So it's fine. It's fine. We are going stir crazy a little bit, not because we, not because we're in our house all the time. 
it's because we have to be in our house all the time. Right. We're we're <laughs> not. We can't. We it's can't. Like walking the neighborhood. Right. Like, nobody so, does when it's 30 degrees. So we're all alone. If we place these restrictions on ourselves, it would be one thing. But we're both firstborns, and neither neither one of us like to be told what to do. So <laughs> it's just that that bit of it that really is making us struggle. And the hardest part for me, I think for you as well, the hardest part is not being able to hug our kids or hang out with them or touch them or do different things. So um, for me, that's the hardest part. Yep, but we feel really blessed that we just have mild cold symptoms because um, we know there's people. We have friends who had it much worse and even been hospitalized. We're friends who've lost parents, and so we feel very grateful that it is just light symptoms for us. Yep. So, so hello. So Hi. yeah. So we'll probably uh, <laughs> we'll uh, because we're stuck in the house. We are going to probably do one or two house projects. So you might see that on this channel here, this video as well. So I don't know, but we're trying to decide if we paint our basement the finished room which would mean carter can't be in it for a while if we're done there correct which is fine um because we've not painted that since we moved in our house seven years ago um or our bedroom which i hate our paint color and i hated it from when we bought the house and we still haven't painted that either so those are the two rooms that desperately need painting so maybe we'll do both we might do both. We might do one. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. But we'll do one of the we will definitely do something. So, anything else? I don't think so. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. All right. We're gonna enjoy our walk and the snow. <laughs> you don't like the enjoy snow. the snow. <laughs> it's not that cold out. It's pretty. It doesn't matter. So we're we're not in Charleston right now. So we might as well have a. I'm trying to have a good attitude. Trying to be positive. Okay, that it. Yep, that's it. Okay, so we're still on the stupid uh, kick. <coughs> oh bleep! Bleep that out. <laughs> bleep that word out since it's a nasty word. Um, so we decided to paint the basement walls down here, and I came down here earlier to check it out a little bit, and. Um, there's there's a lot to paint. Yeah, this is our um, kids' uh, hangout space, and we've lived here for seven years, and I've never painted it. And it's a tan taupey color that is like peanut um, butter, peanut butter, peachy, and so we're just gonna paint it white to lighten up this lower level. So do you hear Lola upstairs? Yeah, she's feeling like I'm feeling. Like <laughs> I feel good. And I want to paint it white, but... Well, that's why we haven't done it, because we don't really enjoy these type of projects, but we are stuck home. We are stuck home for another few days and we're feeling better, so it's a good opportunity to do it now when we're not as busy with kids' activities. So. Yeah, so we're going to paint. <laughs> it will look awesome. It will be white, white. It'll be good. So. It'll make, the, it'll make the, ba the basement space a little bit brighter. And so a cleaner feeling. It'll be, it'll be good when it's done. I just am... Um, there's a lot of walls, so. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're almost done with the first coat. Doesn't look good. I have paint everywhere, though. <laughs> yeah, it looks better. Can't really tell right now. It's just white. You can see the column. Yeah, That's there's the thing. column. We're gonna do that later. Not right now. So we got the first coat almost done. Just need to do the rest of the trim, and then when you come back, it'll be all done with the next shot. 
Oh, oof. <laughs> so that <laughs> um, the best thing that we've found about curry <coughs> right now, you can have, can there be good things about curry? What's that about? We're not supposed to say that word. No, we're gonna have a whole bunch of coughs in this one. <laughs> Um, the, <laughs> it's not about the actual bug. It's just about being, the best thing about being quarantined. Okay, about being locked up. Yeah. Right. Uh, what for one, which I think we might keep doing, I don't know, maybe not, I don't know, is the placing our grocery order online. That's having Having somebody else. Shop for it. Shop for it. I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing this is what the queen feels like in England. You think? No. <laughs> the president? Nah, I don't think they even worry about it. It just shows up on their table. That's, They're not even picking it out. Online. That's true. It feels pretty good though. It's pretty nice. It is fun to have a little personal shopper though. And then go pick it up <laughs> and then bring it back home. If only, if only they, put it away they could us. come back with us and put it away. <laughs> but they too right now would have the... So, <laughs> the, the, the other it's thing is <laughs> it's really not fake. <laughs> Long haulers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is DoorDash. Yes, that's been our, my favorite thing. <laughs> it's been good. It's not been great because our food at times have have arrived, has arrived cold. Yes, but it's so fun just to decide in a moment what sounds good, order it, and somebody else brings it to us and makes it. And there's really little to no cleanup. That is true. So, so part of that was because um, we were isolating from the kids and so we could not make their food. So everybody was on their own for breakfast and lunch and then we ordered DoorDash for dinner every night. Um, we would get ours and leave theirs on the kitchen counter for them to come in and get to eat in their isolated places. So we would get DoorDash every day just to keep um, us from making food for the kids so that there's no way we'd accidentally contaminate their food. Yes, so we might keep doing the grocery shopping? Maybe, probably not, I don't know. We probably won't be doing the DoorDash maybe once in a while-ish, yeah. but nonetheless, here's our DoorDash experience. <laughs> Okay, the basement is, well, the, paint, the painting's done. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the painting's that. done, the basement is not done. It's white, which is perfect and it's great. And, and the walls are, are bright now. It feels better down here. Clean. It does, it feels it's clean. It's a fresh start. It feels clean, it's a fresh start. Clean slate. Clean slate. What we need now is some pictures, some... Finish painting the doors, they need painted. Yeah, the doors need painted, um, but we need pictures. We got the painting done, and I think, I think it looks good. Yeah, it looks awesome. So we just need to organize the toys that we're keeping for our nieces and nephews to yeah. play with. Um, yeah. We need to hang some pictures on the wall and some decor down here, and then it should be good to go for a while. Yeah, so trim looks great. Jamie did the trim. I did the rollering on the walls. <laughs> and then she painted the post. So yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm glad we did it. Um, not gonna lie, it kicked my butt when, when I was painting, but it feels and looks 100% better. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready to be done with this crap. <coughs> bull crap. <coughs> Another cough. <laughs> I'm gonna be editing this video like crazy. So, all right, anything else? Nothing else? Nothing? Nope. Nothing? Nothing? All right, let's go.